my name is Melinda Childs. I am the Community and Cultural Development Director for Art Start and also in partnership with Nicolay College. We are here at Art Start today um, in the middle of this beautiful installation piece by artist Liz Miller from Minnesota. I have an artistic background which led me to my role here in community development, supporting artists. So it's kind of an interesting story. I was actually a dancer ever since I was really little in ballet and tap shoes. And as I grew up, it really became a passion. And I was able to go to an arts high school, which was a public school in Minnesota. Kids from all over the state went there in all different artistic disciplines. So that was an amazing experience, pretty transformative for me. Um, all my friends were artists from visual artists to media artists to musicians, um, actors, everybody was all, we were all kind of together. And that for me, got me addicted to being around the creative process. And it also taught me that no matter what I did, I wanted to be connected to the arts. I've been in Rhinelander seven years. And what struck me from the very beginning of living here was the passion and the community involvement and, and really the entrepreneurial thinking from a community side of things. Art Start is a great example of that. It was built by the community. We didn't have one big donor that said, I want an art center. It was a community effort. Um, Rasta, the Rhinelander Area Silent Trails Association, the YMCA, there's all these examples of grassroots efforts just making the community a more vibrant place. So as I lived here, um, I, I realized, and from the beginning of Art Start's mission, they really wanted to support that broader community development as well as the cultural development inside of our walls. So as we grew as an organization and as my strengths became more apparent as being sort of a community connector and entrepreneurial thinker myself, we kind of led to where we are today with this joint position, this partnership with Nicolay, really focused on providing that direct support and encouragement for just some creative community projects and collaborations and development and, and um, bringing the artists into that and that solution. Probably the biggest challenge would be time management and prioritization. And particularly when you're working with a lot of creative people, there's a lot of great ideas <laughs> that come up. And you, and I, well, I don't know if everyone is like this, but I want to do them all. And I sometimes forget that I'm only one person or we're a small organization or even a small community with limited resources. So I think it's really difficult to try to take a step back and understand, you know, what is the right thing to move forward at the right time. I think that the biggest success that I can see is how much the community, how much these community collaborations are paying off. Um, Art Start is partnering with Nicolay, obviously. Also, we have partnership with WXPR, the Chamber, the City, um, the Grid, the Oneida County Economic Development, and all the economic development agencies, and Arts Wisconsin, which is a statewide arts advocacy organization. And we're just really open and wanting to form collaborations and work collaboratively. So I guess, you know, what I would, what I would say and in, in what I'm in the midst of navigating for myself is, not, is that persistence and not giving up and, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. I think I've written that down twice today. And I, I really believe that and I believe that artists are entrepreneurs, as we said, and I think that entrepreneurs are artists and, and there's a lot of overlap. What that special superpower is, is creative problem solving. So when you figure out your direction or your vision and what you want to do, I think that it's just most important to, to do it. And if it's not working one way, look at it from a different angle. If it's not working that way, turn it on its head. And again, I think that's our strength as creatives. And I think that's, that's what's gonna get us through.